That is so encouraging, George. And we want to begin with the latest on that new possible breakthrough drug. It's the first treatment to show real promise. Dr. Anthony Fauci expressing optimism, saying for the first time, there is proof a drug can block the virus. Steve Osinsami is tracking this from Atlanta for us. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Robin. This drug could give governments what they need to loosen restrictions meant to slow down the virus. And markets across the world are already responding positively to word of this. There's new hope this morning in the fight against the coronavirus. It's quite good news. Remdesivir, a drug that was first made to help fight Ebola, is now showing promising early results in an NIH study. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut, significant, positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important. What it has proven is that a drug can block this virus. Early data shows that patients who were given remdesivir recovered 31% faster than patients who were given a placebo. Researchers also believe that patients who took the drug were less likely to die, but they need more study to be for sure. It's a win for, you know, for the patient and win uh, for public health. Infectious disease specialists think this treatment could save lives. If you can actually shorten uh, four days uh, for these patients that are in the hospital uh, with moderate to severe COVID, uh, you not only benefit these patients, but you're going to benefit other patients that need to come to the hospital. The research now needs to be reviewed by other scientists, but the drug will now be offered to seriously ill COVID-19 patients. The country's top infectious disease doctor, Anthony Fauci, says this treatment will become the new standard. Whenever you have clear-cut evidence that a drug works, you have an ethical obligation to immediately let the people who are in the placebo group know. We spoke to a patient who believes his life was saved after getting the drug. Weeks ago, 55-year-old Chris Kane was in the hospital needing oxygen with a high fever when doctors gave him the medication. I was feeling pretty bad, so I said, sure, let's give it a shot. I woke up in the morning and I could breathe and it still hurt, but, you know, it, it had dropped off quite a bit. The CEO of the company that makes the drug says they've learned that a five-day supply works nearly as well as a 10-day supply. So there's now plenty of it to go around. George.